What's up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys three ways that you can make a video pop up using Elementor. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the three examples I have for you. So the first one that you'll be able to create is this one right here. And this one is just a built in pop up with an Elementor. And the second one is using a plugin. And the third one is also using a plugin here. Now, if you guys want to learn how to make these pop ups, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is install some plugins. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, and then just go ahead and type in Elementor. And just by typing in Elementor, we're going to see the plugins that we need to install. So the first one is essential add ons for Elementor. Go ahead and install that plugin. And then the second one is going to be Element Kit Elementor. So go ahead and install that add on. And then I'm just going to activate one of them. And let's just wait until this one gets installed. Okay. So now I'm just going to activate this one. And then I'm going to activate Elements Kit as well. Okay. So from here, we're going to go into our home page because that's where we're going to be adding the video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and edit my home page. Now, the first way that I'm going to be showing you um, on making a video pop up is just going to be using um, the Elementor's um, built in video pop up that they already have. So pretty much I'm going to go ahead and just remove this video and I'm going to add a video in here. Now you can just grab it from here or you can type it in. So just grab the default video that Elementor provides in their um, elements and then go ahead and click on the element. And then if you click on image overlay, you can click on uh, at, click on to turn on image overlay here and then go ahead and um, turn on light box. And as you can tell, when we click on this on this, we're going to be getting a light box. So we can go ahead and add a video in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this um, video again, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a um, thumbnail or a placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and add this this picture here and then I'm going to test this out. As you can tell, whenever we click on this, we're going to be getting a pop up. So that's already all set. So that's one way of creating a video pop up there. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the video that um, the video link here, and I'm going to probably use that for um, the other videos. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to remove this video here. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in video and I'm going to go ahead and grab um, this video here. So go ahead and grab this one. And this one is from Elements Kit. Now you can either type in video or you can go down to your um, elements. And it's going to be this and it's going to be right right under Elements Kit and you can just find video. Now it could be somewhere around here. Um, here. I might have just skipped it. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Just go ahead and drag that over here. Now I'm going to center this. I'm just going to go into my column, and this is just my preference here, and I'm going to center this. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this element here, and then we can adjust uh, um, the icon, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just have a play icon there. I think that works perfectly. And then we can go ahead and have it auto play. We can mute the video. We can loop it. We can have a, a player control. And then we can go ahead and select, we can either do YouTube or Venmo. Um, so, and then you can just go ahead and add your video link. I'm going to just go ahead and add the default um, video from Elementor. And then we can also customize the styling of this icon here. As you can tell right now, we do have an animation here and you can probably kind of see it because it's blue as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into style and just go into bun style here and then we have the glow color so i'm going to turn this into white so then we're able to see that glow color i'm going to go ahead and remove that and then what i what i want to do next is just kind of adjust the height of this let's just go ahead and you can also adjust that as well but to be honest i think that's pretty good let me just make it a little bit bigger here just the height there and we can also adjust the icon sizing of this. Maybe bring this down a bit. 
might need to just add some padding in here. So I might have to add some padding from the top here to bring it down. Kind of bring it down towards the middle here. There we go. Okay. Now you can also adjust a uh, typography as well. Of course, not really necessary. And then we can just adjust the background color, which I think is probably the most important part. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. We can make this white and then have the the icon color, which is pretty much the text color. You can have that blue here. Now I'm just doing that so then you're able to see that. And the hover effect, I'm gonna leave that blue as well so then we still can view this. Okay, perfectly, let's see. Actually, that one's, that one was more of the glow effect. So let's go ahead and leave that white here and then make this, make this um, blue. So then that doesn't disappear when we hover over that. And I'm going to probably bring this down a bit more because it doesn't look like it's centered. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and update this. And now I'm going to view this here. And there we go. We can go ahead and uh, see our uh, pop up video here. And we can just exit out of this. Now, if you do want to have a background on this, just let's say you want to actually have your video, your video thumbnail, I would, since you're not able to do it, I don't think you're able to do it here, but from the looks of it, let's let's actually try this out. Let's see if we can have, add a picture in here. I believe that's not gonna work, okay. So that doesn't work. So what I would do is um, go ahead and click on this column here, go to style, and then go to background and just add that background image. And then now we just gonna go ahead and make sure this covers, there we go. And then now if we refresh this, that's going to be looking good. So that's how I would go about doing it. Um, so that's just uh, my preference there. And now the second option here, now this is just adding a button. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove um, this element here. And I'm going to remove this image, I might add it back again. So what I would do from here, um, since we did use uh, since we did install two plugins, the next one is going to be from uh, essential add ons. So just type in pop up. And then we're going to have this light box here. Now from this light box, you're, you're actually able to um, have a, a image as a light box or a video. So you can choose either to have a, an image for the button, or you can actually have a button or an icon. So that just depends on your preference there. Now what you can do is if you want to make a video, um, a video pop up, you can just go ahead and just select your image. Now the, the bad part about this is that it doesn't come with an icon. So let's go ahead and add our um, video here. So we can go ahead and select video. And as you can tell, you can even do um, YouTube, Vimeo, and even Google Maps. So actually, I'm going to choose YouTube. And I'm going to add the Elementor um, video and I'm going to update this. Now if I click on this, we're going to see a video pop up here. Now it is full screen, so it is kind of, uh, it's not really the best here. And we can't really adjust the, the sizing on that. It's kind of an issue there. But I just wanted to give you guys that option as well. Um, and then you can also adjust the image as well. But I'm going to go ahead and use, you can use a button here. And then we can center the button. Now, of course, you can you can maybe type in watch video. Now, if you are wondering how to make a, um, I guess a uh, pop up button, I actually do have a video on that on my channel as well. And I kind of go over the pop up video. Um, so you guys can go ahead and view that in case you're wondering how to make a uh, better um, pop up button here. But this is just one option. And you can also just use an icon as well. And you can go into style. And then you can just go ahead and adjust um, the, the button as well and the icon just by changing the background. And I mean, that already, that already looks good itself. So you can have slide video autoplay. The bad part about that, like I mentioned, I mean, we can just go ahead and add a video, a uh, background to this and then have it look like a, uh, a video. So you can do that as well, but it is full screen and that is kind of an issue there. So that is up to you guys if you guys want to use that, but you aren't able to adjust the video pop up, which is kind of an issue. But I did just show you guys three ways of making a video pop up. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. So if you did find it helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe. 
And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.